What's going on guys? It's Thursday and I'm back to help you win another Horizon 5 trial event. This week we have Tis the Season to be Hooning. It is a street scene event for Hoonigan cars to an S1 spec. I'm going to go ahead and say it. This is probably the hardest time I've ever had trying to actually complete a trial event in this game. It's even more ridiculous than the Fine Edition one, which was a headache in itself. But this thing is just an absolute nightmare. Teammates are worthless. I had to do this, no joke, probably 30 times, and I think I had two good teammates the entire time. It's just very frustrating. You can do all, your, all you can, win races, you know, being the win, at least being the top two, but your teammates, when they're 10th, 11th, 12th, you're not going to win. So it's just frustrating. I finally got it done, but this thing is something else. I definitely recommend using a convoy of people that know how to play the game and not just party up with randoms or go into dive in solo and get paired up with randoms like I always torture myself doing. Anyway, the car I decided to use the 1986 Hoonigan Ford RS200 Evolution and I'll show my tune for it right now on the screen. It's called S1 Road Racing. Uh, I'll also show the share code. Quick note on this car in real life, I think it's just the Ford RS200. Uh, the game added Evolution because it has the, in real life, it has the Ford RS200 Evolution's engine but it has the body of an RS200, so it's not technically an evolution, which would make it a lot more rare if it had like a matching set. So it's kind of a misprint, I believe, on Forrest's part, but I'll let it slide. But this car, in-game, uh, with this tune, it's absolutely phenomenal. It grips exceptionally well. It's one of the best handling S1 road racing cars I've ever encountered in a Horizon series with this tune on it. You might be kind of discouraged at the beginning of a race. You might fall behind because everybody else is going to have super fast cars that handle like shit. So you might fall behind early. Don't panic. They're going to slide into a tree or the AI is going to take them out or they're going to take each other out. And you're going to maneuver right by them because this thing, it just sticks to the road like glue no matter what you do to it. The only time I think you can get this thing to stay off road is if you hit a curb like I did in race one. You'll see that. I hit a curb and try to avoid a teammate drifted off the track was able to get back on and end up finding my way across the checkered flag first but this thing sticks to the road so well you don't even really need to brake hardly at all only the turns where you actually have to come to a complete stop to turn pretty much you don't really need to brake on the like high speed swooping turns that much just let off the gas let the engine brake and let it oversteer for you and complete the turn you don't need to brake hardly at all this thing we're gonna be able to just rip through everybody pretty much let them slide off the track in their fast cars that don't handle well well you stick to the road like glue in your slow car but it handles really well this is definitely a case where i think grip beat speed uh you will encounter a couple ai though intermittently that are super 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 fast so you might not win every race but you'll definitely be in the top three and will probably be the best person on your team that's for damn sure I definitely recommend this car with this tune on it. Super, super grippy. Very, very good brakes that are forgiving. So if you like want to brake late and take out an AI or try to like slam some an AI out of the way or you just forget to brake or something like that, this thing is going to stop for you no matter what. Brakes are just insane on this. Handling is just insane on this. Acceleration's good. Speed's just kind of a meh. But the handling and all that make up for the speed 1000%. You're going to definitely enjoy using this car. It's probably going to be your best bet to competing and getting your team in the higher end of the spectrum in terms of points to actually complete this trial. If everybody used this car with this tune, I would have probably had this trial completed the very first time. But people are going to show up with like the Chevy Nova, which is a horrible idea, or the Porsche, which is a horrible idea, or like the old mark ii escort which is a horrible idea actually it's not that bad of an idea i definitely think this is the best car to use or even the prize car the hoonigan kazi v2 is probably second on my list for cars i would recommend it's also a very very good handling car um which kind of begs the question why is that the prize car for this week because you get that car after you complete the first uh dirt showcase event called on a wing and a prayer so everybody should have that car by this point. I'm not entirely sure why it's a prize car, but it's whatever. This I definitely recommend convoys for sure and with people that know how to play the game, hopping in and hope you get paired with good teammates is going to be extremely stressful, more so this week than probably ever before. 
So good luck. Hopefully you guys can get all this completed. Let me know down in the comments what did work for you. If you use my Hoonigan RS200 tune, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you start the race, like I said, and you fall behind early, don't fret. Speed is not really going to matter with this car because it just handles unbelievably well. It's going to find its way to the front if you know how to drive the car and don't get taken out by an AI or a teammate. So hopefully you guys can get this completed. Uh, hop into my Discord channel, which will be in the description as well. And we can kind of try to help each other complete this. I, I, I'm trying to help people throughout the day if I can and throughout the rest of the week before it resets next Thursday. So if you need help, hop in there. Ask for some help. We have a decent community in there right now. We can help you guys get all this completed together. Also, the share code will be in the description as well if you missed it earlier in the video. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. Good luck. Use a car that handles well. It's not about speed. Hopefully, you find some good teammates, and you can just get it done together. Because it's you're gonna need you're gonna need a good team. It's bottom line. There's no ifs ands buts about it. You can't expect to hop in and carry your team. So don't try to be Superman. You're gonna need some help, or you're gonna be trying this for four hours like I like I spent doing today. Uh, also, I'd like to apologize. I'm not gonna have any audio f uh, for the race footage for this week. I got a new capture card. Ingenious me clicked on mute audio instead of mute preview audio in the capture software. It's just complete mind-numbingly stupid thing to do, but hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you will, however, see the videos being 1440p now instead of the traditional 1080. So that's that's good, which is kind of pointless for my copy of Horizon 5 because I'm on the Xbox Series S in performance mode so I think it only shows the game at 1080-60 but I'm still going to be recording at 1440 so it might look a little better on YouTube. I'm assuming the bitrate is going to be a little higher than 1080 uh, video so it might look a little better. Hopefully it does. I wanted to get something new kind of because I've been using the Elgato HD 60S for a while and I wanted to upgrade that. So you'll be seeing the videos in 1440p, and starting next week, you'll have some audio to go along with it. So please forgive me this week. Um, like I said earlier, just let me know down in the comments what worked for you. If you need help, pop in the Discord channel. We'll try to help you out. Uh, I recommend my tune, obviously. If you don't use my tune, try to use one that handles well. Don't use something super fast that handles like garbage. So try to like avoid the Torque Stallion or the Nova or even the Porsche to a certain degree. I try to stick to the RS200 Evolution or the Kazi V2. I mean, if you have to, the Mark II Escort or the Group A Escort's okay. Just be smart. It'll happen. Best of luck, and I'll see you guys next week for another video.